So therefore, uh, uh, on behalf of my colleagues, I would like to move to the second point. The second point is that uh, as regional economic communities, you have mentioned the tripartite, we have a lot of experience, of good experiences, and that perhaps it is time, again, through the African Union Commission, that uh, you document the best practices of each track, you convene us, we share those experiences, and instead of us reinventing the wheel, we will be able to move with speed in terms of the implementation. I have, for instance, um, in, this, in, the, in, this, in, this, in this case, uh, the experiences that the different RECs have. You take the East African community that are moving towards a political you know, federation uh, that have also allowed the right of establishment, residence, they have moved. You take the ECOWAS with the free movement, they have moved. And yet some of us have not done that. And these are things that we can do uh, at that level, uh, both at the technical level and the joint interministerial meeting, rec to rec. So exchange of services is very, very important. The fourth issue I would like to deal with before I conclude, uh, on behalf of my colleagues, is the issue of um, financing and sustainability of regional economic uh, community programs. Uh, it is quite clear that uh, we are, um, uh, to a large extent, uh, funded by our development partners, and that needs to change. And hence, as regional economic communities, we support the AU uh, program on innovative uh, means of financing, because that is critical. But I also think that uh, what we need to do is simply to take the best practices. And I think uh, ECOWAS provides uh, that uh, um, you know, aspect with respect to the ECOWAS uh, common market, uh, uh, the ECOWAS levy. Uh, let me say why I'm saying that with your permission, Chairperson and colleagues. While some of us were busy trying to find resources to work on the national CADAP compacts, the regional compacts, you know what ECOWAS did, they did not wait for a, a child trust fund to be established under the World Bank. What they did, they used the ECOWAS levy to do it, and hence all the countries of ECOWAS have, the CADA, have been able to implement the CADAP program. And this is why I'm saying if we had our own means of financing, we would be able to move you know, faster and not have the paralysis that we have. So I simply gave that as an example to say we have that experience and we can look at it, it can be adapted, but I think the AU can play an important role there. Now, last but not least, on behalf of my colleagues, uh, let me uh, salute uh, the African Union Commission through your able leadership, uh, Excellency Jinping, and your colleagues uh, in the area of peace and uh, security. Uh, it's not an easy uh, agenda, it's a complex agenda, but I think uh, what has happened is that we've been able to, to, to address these issues and you have our full support. And even now, um, we have had um, uh, some of our joint missions uh, with the AU uh, Commission on these issues and we've been able uh, to, to get results. Uh, last but not least, simply to say that uh, we have entered an age now, uh, an era, where we need to be more united uh, than in the past. So that uh, we say the African Union Commission is the principal interlocutor on regional inter continental integration and all other issues, and that our role is simply uh, to deliver um, um, uh, that agenda, uh, because as the AU, you can do so much, but I think the onus is on the regional economic communities. And I think instead of us maybe meeting once a year, uh, this is what we suggest. We suggest that uh, we have even meetings at the technical level that can inform us. It may be difficult for us as chief executives to meet that frequently, but if we can have a monitoring and evaluation mechanism of implementing our collective decision in this forum, we should be able to move uh, the agenda forward. Once again, uh, it has been a pleasure uh, for me uh, standing in for my brother, Ambassador uh, Richard uh, Sesibera uh, at the last minute um, to uh, speak on behalf of, the, of my colleagues, the, the Chief Executive of the Regional Economic Community. So I thank you very much.